Having troubles with your laptop? Phone not working? Need help fixing things? Introducing Gabriel the Electrical Engineer. Because that's what electrical engineers do. Right? Oh, I think I know why. why? It's because I maxed out it. Then I'll turn it on. Hi, I'm Gabriel. I'm 30 years old this year and I'm an electrical engineer. Electrical engineering is the study of signals, systems and devices. Some of the cool things that electrical engineers have been up to in the recent years are building uh, smartphones, self-driving cars and my personal favourite, the noise cancelling feature on the Apple AirPods. We have so much specialization in electrical engineering, we have many different subfields software engineering, digital engineering, even hardware engineering as well. For me, myself, I am a radar engineer. I work in the processing of radar signals. So, a radar is a system that emits radio frequency signals. These RF waves can be used to determine the distance and location of an object. As a radar engineer, I develop the software, uh, the computer programs and the algorithms in order to interpret these signals and tell us how far away an object is and where it is located. Commercially, places like Changi Airport would require uh, the air traffic controllers to have a clear view of what's happening in the sky at all times. The radar system at Changi Airport is actually really important in telling the air traffic controllers how many planes there are. Uh, and this is important for them to ensure smooth landing of all the planes. I do the math and I write the computer programs to process uh, radar signals. I also have to test uh, these programs in real-world uh, scenarios. So the majority of my time is actually spent coordinating my work with other engineers. The different engineers from different disciplines have to come together to create a robust and solid system. Yay! So recently we had a trial experiment where we were supposed to track an aircraft uh, using a radar system. This was an aircraft that we had uh, hired for ourselves. I was developing the algorithms in the radar. We had to integrate it together with my hardware engineer to put it into the radar system. On the actual day when we saw the plane moving in the sky and we saw that the radar was actually tracking it, that was a really enjoyable experience for me. After I applied for my DSTA scholarship, I went to the UK to do my Bachelor's of Electrical Engineering and then later the US for my Master's in Electrical Engineering and then now I'm here in DSL. What's your favourite sci-fi film? by Christopher Nolan. Favourite language? Python. Uh, what does a robot eat? Computer chips. I'm so bad. Electrical engineering is quite a broad field, so an aspiring engineer requires a large skill set. This involves some foundation in math, uh, some programming like uh, languages like Python, as well as being able to build hardware. Building complex systems requires teamwork and coordination between engineers. But that's it, when you're working independently, you should feel comfortable to solve problems on your own, being able to solve them creatively as well. I like that what I'm working on is something real, something impactful. A uh, complex system like uh, radar uh, involves many different types of engineers and I'm given the opportunity on a daily basis to work with many of them. I like that my team is uh, very passionate about what they do uh, and that uh, gives me the passion and the drive to carry on every day as well. It's uh, really satisfying after solving a complex problem. It's uh, that feeling of creating something uh, that nobody has ever seen before.